this is Sarah, your socially awkward seller, and I'm coming with to you with a haul video. And I really hauled this time. Where have I been, you say? Where have I been? Kansas. I went to Kansas for a few days and enjoyed myself immensely. Thanks for hosting me, Marcy. I appreciated it. Uh, it was a great time. Uh, Marcy is a reseller, um, a quite re successful reseller. And... Um, so I went out to visit her and we shopped and then we shopped and then we shopped and then we had lunch and then we shopped and shopped and shopped and shopped and shopped and it was wonderful. Um, and I did work a tiny little bit, which kind of got me over the hump of, you know, not having worked. Because let me just tell you, when you source, I like that because it's an industry term and it doesn't just sound like I'm shopping. When you source for two months and you don't list you have a lot of inventory just laying around and i've got a lot i would say if it was tubs full i probably have 25 tubs full that's a lot for me it's a lot so um i'm hoping to be off the shopping wagon until next week when i shop with chris and memorial day when there's a half off sale but other than that i'm not making any guarantees because I think I have ADHD and um, I'm really struggling to do everything. Um, anyway, I thought I would show you some of the things that I bought. Uh, but I'm going to break this video into uh, over the course of several days because I've got a lot of stuff. And um, I don't want to bore you with, ooh, paprika, ooh, cinnamon. You know what I mean? Like opening a spice jar and or a spice rack and yeah. You know what I mean. So uh, this is one of the things that I bought that actually I've listed already because I did, you know, actually work while I was gone. Um, this is a cute little patchwork quilt and um, it is hand tied and um, it's for a little girl. If you want to be binary and if you want to be non-binary, it could be for whomever. Don't care. Um, it's got this cute little flannel backing. And this is up in my eBay store. I think I listed it for like $39.99 best offer. I don't expect to get that much for it, but you can't get it if you don't ask, baby. Um, I bought a lot of linens this time. Um, this is another hand-tied rug. It's got a floral motif on this side. And what do you know? A floral motif on this side. Um, this is a, a t maybe a twin bed size. Um, I kind of like it. Uh, I have not listed this yet. And I will get on that. And how do you take pictures of your linens or large items? I'm thinking I'm going to put up a clothesline in the backyard and take some pictures back there this summer. You know, what have I got to lose? Pay three bucks for this. Uh, flatware it's not not marked but I've sold that before and it does just fine um, I've got that listed for $18.99 I picked up these spring made uh, pillowcases I have two of them they've got this cute little lace detail I think this is part of the spring made Bill Blast collaboration that they had in the 80s um, but I can't be sure and this one these are pretty faded but I paid 79 cents each for them, so, you know, what do you, what do you get to lose? I picked these up thinking they were something. Um, this is Brooklyn uh, Loom, not Brooklinens, Brooklyn Loom. And they feel like really super soft and nice. Um, I paid 79 cents a piece for these uh, king size pillowcases, but I think these are just sold at Target. So I probably will list them for like $12.99 or best to offer. Um, hopefully, or who knows. Um, I picked this up for a couple of bucks, um, and I can't remember what I got in the bins and what I got elsewhere. Some of the things I know I got them in the bins, but I can't remember. I think I might have gotten this in the bins. This is a Hallmark, uh, mini ornament display. You can see, ooh, there's my car. You can see, um... It's got these little hooks, and this is from 2003. I uh, picked this up. This is Homeworks by Harry Slatkin, and this is a one of those 
three uh, three wick candle stands. This is a snowflake. What? This is a sunflower pattern. Um, there, something here's a snowflake, but I don't think it's this. Anyway, um, really pretty. This is made out of resin, and these can go for crazy money. I did not find this particular pattern. I've got this listed for $89.99. It may only go for, you know, $29.99, but again, if you don't ask, you can't get it. And maybe I'll sit on it for a long time. Who knows? Probably will be very uncomfortable. Just a guess. Um, I picked this up for a couple of bucks. This is vintage Walmart. And uh, I paid $7 for this. Um, it is this little church shaped curio with a little brass bell and a little brass cross. And this top piece does come off. And so this comes out and this comes off. So it'll make it much easier to ship. How do I know it's vintage Walmart? Because see if it'll focus look at that Walmart tag um, probably 80s I'm guessing I don't know what I'm gonna list that for I have not found anything like it but I you know stuff like this can go crazy crazy I tell you crazy crazy enough to need some lithium I'm just saying anyway all right I'm gonna get over that probably stay there um this is a homeschool kit uh, with lots of materials in it. I paid eight bucks, I think, for this. Um, this is called Cyclo Teacher. Hey, did you say Psycho Teacher? No, Cyclo Teacher. Um, but it, I think that I can get about $100 for that. Uh, this is a little MP3 player that I found in the bins. I think I can get about $20 for that. I uh, found this in the bins as well. This is a factory OEM, factory OEM, uh, front license plate holder for a Honda. Um, and it's new in plastic, not worth a whole lot. That probably won't sell for much. However many times I say that, you gotta eat an M&M or take a shot or do something or list something. Cause you know I'm gonna say it a bunch. Um, this is a, Pottery Barn um, Kids Twin Fitted Sheet. Really cute pattern. It's got uh, flowers on it. Um, I couldn't find this pattern yet, so I'm not sure what this will bring. But, you know, I got it at the bin, so a couple of bucks is fine. Uh, anyway, um, I thought these were adorable. They are these yellow gingham... Um, pillowcases with a little scalloped eyelet that's not eyelet just scalloped trim very cute it does have these black marks on it somewhere that I'm going to see if I can get out these are in really good condition otherwise they don't look very faded or, or worn probably not going to sell for much but I really thought they were cute Oh, maybe I'm just imagining. Nope, there they are. So it's got these little smudge marks on it. And I'm going to do my best to see if I can get that out. And if I can't, well, whatever. Maybe somebody will buy it for fabric. Maybe they won't. Maybe nobody will buy it. I paid five bucks for this. Um, these sell for about 30. Uh, I picked this up. It is a little Hanukkah cross stitch. And actually, it is a Hanukkah card that you cross-stitch. So it's like a two-in-one kind of thing. All right, let's see what's in here. All right. Um, I didn't buy many bag lots this time because I just didn't find them. Like, they had them, but I just didn't find any that caught my fancy. Uh, this one has some, like, cheap ink pens in them. Um... It has this little um, music clip thingy. I don't know what that is either. Uh, but I actually bought this for this box right here because I wasn't sure what it was. Um, are these? 
These are Big Lots playing cards, so you can you know that those are probably worth a lot of money. Um, okay, so it's got this cute little um, letter opener or vampire killer, whatever, uh, in there. I paid three dollars for this. Um, this has the Hallmark seal on it, and Hallmark is headquartered in um, Kansas City, so you can find lots of Hallmark stuff there. Um, oh, it's an ink pencil. Uh, yep, a nice little pen. Well, I've got those, remember I've got those stationaries that I bought, like, I don't know, I don't know how long ago. Uh, I haven't listened though, so maybe this would go with one of those. Who knows? Um, I always pick these up because I know I can part them out. And usually this time of year, they're not very expensive. Uh, I took a chance on this, like, you know, ABBA, take a chance on me. Um, this has three pot holders. No, that's not. Do you know why they call it a roach clip? because pot holder was already taken. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, three of these pot handles. Uh, I don't know, I think these must have been a big thing back in back in the day, like not back in my day, but like back in the day. These are from Tefal and there are two or three in this bag. I bought these for as much a learning experience as anything. But when do I learn? When do I learn? Never. All right. Uh, paid three bucks for this. It might not be worth that much, like, because I didn't look anything up really. Um, this is Delft Blue. I paid three bucks for it. It is marked on the back, and it's, uh, I think it's for like souvenir spoons. I believe I can fly. No, I don't. Hell, I can barely walk. Uh, I believe these are Fontanini. Um, they are marked made in Italy. Um, and I got this entire bag of these. These are plastic. These are, you know, usually they're kind of that clay paper mache, have a good day stuff. But this, these are actually uh, plastic. But uh, I haven't looked these up. I paid $4 for them. I'm sure I will do fine. Who remembers these? Um, this is a Sassabi. Mm, you can be sassy with Sassabi. Um, makeup. M Why is somebody trying to call me right now? I don't know anybody in Bloomfield. Anyhow. Um, this is a, a like a makeup carrying kind of thing. It's pretty gross inside, but uh, I thought I might do okay with this. I forget. I paid five bucks for it. I don't know what I'm going to do with this because this is the only part of it that I found. But it's a pewter chicken. Um, so, I don't know. I have no idea. I just couldn't resist. Who could resist a pewter chicken? Uh, this is, okay, this is going to be really annoying. I'm sorry. Oh, did I turn it off? Because it's so annoying. I had to turn it off. And it walks. All right, already enough. But anyway, I thought it was kind of cute. It was in the bins. It works. We'll see what we're going to do with that. Um, I picked up these bowls. They were a dollar a piece. Uh, these are called aggravated wood. Uh, no, they're not. They're agatized wood. Oh, here we go. Oh, freaky deaky auto dialer. And I've told those people over and over and over to stop calling me. And if I wasn't afraid it would blow out the speaker on my iPhone, I would air horn them. Because you can call and leave a message for them. 
I just air horn their butts. Every, mm. <sighs> this is just out of control with the bots calling and the people calling from overseas trying to get me to give them my social security number. Please, please, come on. Anyway, I digress. You know, I haven't digressed in a very long time, but this time I'm going to digress. Okay. Um, I found this at the bins. This is a Scentsy, um, I think it's called a wrap. Not like a ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah. Full size Scentsy wrap. Um, I think you put a candle inside this or some other kind of Scentsy thing. I think a candle inside this. This is kind of a vertigree wire with butter, little butterflies on it. And then it's got a white paper insert. I bet it's really pretty, but who cares? All right. More linens. Um, I picked up this little comforter. It's a crib quilt. And it's really cute. It's in excellent condition. Um, Jessica said this was a framed block um, style. This is homemade. Um, and it's got, look at this, little NFL teams on it how cute and then the back is the NFL fabric um, I've got this listed it's in my store too then um, more linens I found a lot of linens a lot of um, like uh, some Tommy Hilfiger some Nautica and that sort of thing but um, some of them I only found one pillowcase, so not very exciting. I did pick this up uh, in the bins, and this is a leather, like, weekend bag, and uh, it is really nice and supple. It does have this um, name on it. I don't know who that is, like, what logo that is, but I'm hoping somebody will want this anyway. Really, really nice. Very good condition. Um... I have not listed that yet, but I will. Someday, I have a feeling I will. Look at this. It's a little makeup case um, from Hot Looks. And I think this is 80s into 90s. I found this vintage, um, kind of a bean baggy, bean baggy. Uh, Thumper from the Disney store, I think, from Disney store. Yeah. Uh, really cute. I need to clean him up. I probably will end up washing him. Um, let's see. I'm going to show you the most expensive thing that I found that I'm aware of so far. And it's this blanket. Um, this is a blanket, like a throw, in this pouch. And I'll show you the logo. I think it's right here on this strap. Yeah. If you see this logo, buy, buy it. Bella Nota. Bella Nota. Um, this blanket retails for $648. Um, I've listed it with the pouch for $425 because it's in really good shape. We'll see. I mean, I'm probably going to have to go down. But, um, you know, start big, right? Uh, and then, this is the last thing I'm going to show you today. I've got plenty to show you tomorrow. Uh, this latch hook kit, still sealed um, with this little cheetah. Cheetahs ne cheetahs never prosper. Mm, just, just so you know. All right, I'm going to finish up my shipping. I've got two things that are going out today. Some flatware and a like a music book. And then uh, I am going home and hopefully listing a little bit. I've got plenty there, so it doesn't matter that this stuff is here in my unit. Not in my unit, in my storage unit. Anyway, uh, thank you all for sticking around. I appreciate you being here, I really do. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Thank you to everyone that is a new subscriber. Really appreciate you being here. Um, love to hear from you. Uh, and that's it, really. I'm going to stop rambling. I figured out that the rambling is part of the ADHD thing. Okay. Just remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working. I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.